Oh, and can we can we take it from that that the back's feeling okay? Yeah, the back back feels good. The back feels good. Um, yeah, delighted, absolutely delighted with the way it's come through like that. Particularly probably with the fielding, uh, that was a, one of the bigger worries, um, turning and diving and all sorts. So, yeah, very happy at the moment. Can you tell us how it feels when you're in the middle of an innings like the one you played today, and if you've ever quite been in that zone before? Yeah, never, never. Have I ever thought that I could play a knock like that? Um, I'm delighted that I have. I think coming in at the time where it was a 50-50 shout, whether myself or Joss went in, uh, probably helped that because after I faced a few balls, I had no choice. I had to start taking risks because of him coming in next. Um, and then after I got dropped, it was a matter of just keep going. Um, but yeah, one of those days. And sitting top of the table after that, Nice, nice boost for the guys. I think it is. I think um, certainly going into Friday's game against Sri Lanka, another game where if we can produce the level of intensity which we operated at today, I think it'll be it'll leave us in a really good good place. I know we made some mistakes today, but I thought the level uh, which we operated what uh, sorry at you can't fault. Right at the back of the room. Yeah, no. Yeah. You know, you know that uh, you've broken the world record of most number of sixes and uh, you know the players who held that record were Chris Gale, A.B. De Villiers and Rohit Sharma. So how does it feel to you know break the record of these big hitters? I honestly don't know. It's weird. It's very strange. It's something like, like I mentioned, it, along with the innings, it's something I never thought I'd do. So it's, it's a nice place to be. Um, I think I'm probably just becoming a target for guys in the change room to you know, take down. Um, the 100 I scored is considered a slow one in our changing room. Guys talk about it all the time. So, yeah, tough skill. Lawrence and then Vish. Owen, um, were there moments when it was tough on your back taking quick singles at all? And did that actually help you go for the big shots? Yeah, well, I think my, well, myself and Joe aren't the quickest anyway. So it's, it's not really an, an issue. But turning and stuff, there was a little, yeah. It, it took a bit of time before I could get confidence. Uh, moving. And did that help you with your decisions to actually go go for broke? To go, yeah. Um, no, it was it was just a time where I had had to take it on. Uh, probably 18 overs to go when I first started to come in, or 20 overs left. Um, so it was yeah, it was go time. Uh, Owen, have you um, have you been doing anything? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, have you been doing anything differently with regards to your six hitting? Because through, throughout your career, it's something like you hit six every thirty-five balls. But even before today, in two thousand nineteen, you're hitting them every twenty. Have you? Obviously, that's quite a big jump. Have you been doing anything specific about it? And, uh, not a lot. I've actually probably done a little bit less. Um, I think it's just sort of where I'm looking to score has changed over the course of my career. I think I've scored a lot squarer early on in my career, whereas I look a little bit more down the ground now. And I think when you look down the ground, your mistake is almost going to look square, which still gives you a chance of hitting, hitting a six. Dean Tuala from um, I mean, it's interesting to hear you say that you never thought you could play in innings like that when for the last four years you've been asking players to reach for the skies and push their limits and do things that that they didn't think they could do and so is that not are you not following your own kind of guidelines yeah I am well to be fair the last four years I've probably played the best in my career um, but that hasn't involved a 50 or 60 ball hundred uh, I've scored one at Middlesex that was I think it was 55 or 56 so I thought I could uh, you know I would have it in the locker somewhere but it's never happened so I sort of gave up on it a little bit. And, and the fact that you have gone out and done it in a, in a World Cup, uh, maybe unfortunately for you, you've scored more runs in one innings than you had done in, in previous editions of, of World Cups. How does it, much does it please you that you've been able to, to do it on the biggest stage at the, you know, kind of pressure, pressure moment? Yeah, it does. It does. Um, simply, you know, the, the Champions Trophy two years ago, I, I had a couple of scores. I would have liked to have gotten more. Um, but this is, this is where it matters. Um, all the work over the last four years, over the course of my career, it's, yeah, it's all <coughs> sort of comes to a front now. Uh, yeah, your team has all already certain to qualify for the semi-final, uh, and then semi-final stage is very crucial. So you will 
play with the same strategy or you have a special thing some for the semi final stages no nothing special nothing Keep it special yeah. okay Keep it simple german here on the left uh, Gilchrist had once said about hitting a six, the best thing about hitting a six was that he, uh, more than anyone else in the ground, he knew first that the ball is going to go with a six. Uh, what is the special feeling for you about a six? What That's you exactly the same. It's like hitting a golf ball off the tee. You're the only per if it do if it you think it's going straight, you're the only person that knows at the time. It's a very special feeling. Dave here, second round. And then George, I'll we'll take a few more on this side. Oh, now, how touch and go were you to play in this game this morning and, and did you have, have any pain-killing injections or anything like that? Um, to be honest, th this morning went pretty smoothly. Uh, early start, getting my, um, well, getting my back hot and all the muscles moving. Um, I didn't have any injections this morning. I just had um, medication like tablets um, for today's game. So, yeah, it, it was good. I got down to the ground early, had a little bit of a fitness test, a little bit of a bat. I know it's just good to go. George on the end there. Then Guy and I will take one more. The gentleman at the front never done. Cheers. Well about it. Uh, when you came in, uh, was that were England about on target or did you think you needed to We were on, on target for uh, 280, 290, maybe 300. I thought it was quite cagey. thought the wicket was a little bit tacky. Um, and we were always talking about getting a, a late 200 score. And that we thought that would have been enough to be competitive. Right, so that was th that what you thought was par, uh, yeah. probably under 300? Yeah. OK, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I hate to change the subject from the batting, but the bowling wasn't too bad either. Wood and Archer, good again? Yeah, very good. Um, I think on a wicket that didn't offer a, a great deal, it, it had really good bounce um, and turned a bit for the spinners. Um, but seam movement or swing, it had none. So when guys execute... You know, hitting a good length, using their bouncer well, it's it is satisfying because it's 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 very hard to do, um, and when the ball doesn't move around, it obviously means your pace is important, and all three guys' pace look good today. Uh, so yeah. Ian, you are very harsh on our Rashid Khan of all people. <laughs> Was that deliberate, or he had a terrible off day? Um, it certainly wasn't deliberate. Um, we don't go into any game with any preconceived ideas about how guys can play because anybody can have a bad day. Uh, he's obviously a very, very good bowler um, and we're, we've experienced that before. He's performed extremely well for a long period. Um, but like all good players, you know, it's, it's when you, you probably learn the most about yourself when your backs are against the wall and it's probably the same case. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.